Howdy folks, Zograx here with Siberius. Hello. Um, you know, we don't have a name for this yet, uh, what we're doing, but uh, essentially it's a winter stays on thing here in Total War Warhammer 2 in the battles. Um, uh, last outing, Saibi uh, took uh, a dwarf castle, basically. <laughs> yep. um, and uh, completely wrecked my uh, Dark Elf army. Uh, so now uh, we're playing the... Uh, uh, well, my attempt to unhinge his army. Uh, we do have unit caps on, which didn't really affect anything I've done. Uh, he is playing the same army, though obviously he does not have to set up the same way. Um, and I've just randomly picked a map, which is Prague, which looks rather nice and would be a, a potential place for these two armies to meet, in theory. I think we should call it Counter Strikes. Counter Strikes? I like that. Let's well, Counter Strikes. Hit go. Well, I already had. I guess it backed out. There we go. I took too <clears> long because <throat> I had I realized I hadn't picked a map, and that seemed important. I didn't want to go right back to Oakenhammer again. Got bad memories Prague. of that place. Yeah, Prague's a nice place that. That stuff doesn't happen in. Yeah. Nothing terrible happens in Prague. Talking about maybe Kislev being in three, which would be cool. Oh. Yeah. You'd see the Ice Queen and the... Bears. The bears. The Bear, ca bear Cavalry. Ooh. Bear Cavalry, yeah. Ice Magic would be cool, though. Mm. Yeah, that would be different. Forget what they... Were they... <clears throat> what were their knights? Like... Griffin they, knights? They had the, the Griffin Knights, I think, and then the winged... Um, wing, were they called winged hussars? They weren't called winged hussars. I don't they? think they were called winged hussars, from, but they were... That's from medieval. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're based on that, though. It they was the called the winged lancers. That, that might be it. And then, obviously, the horse archers were a big thing with them. Oh, the Kislev horse archers. Yeah. Those were, those were good uh, back in the old Empire army. Yeah. So you, you used them many a time. Oh, I certainly did. By all Rick's rocks. Grab. I come out here. Back here. So I, I've been watching um, Turin's uh, Sigvald campaign. I don't know if you've seen any of that. I haven't, no. It's, it's a really good watch. He, um... He's, he's playing it on Legendary Difficulty. Uh, which hmm. is braver than I'll ever be, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah. Something you do when you're good. Right. And, uh, well, I ain't good. Um... Oh. And yeah, it's okay, it's it's impressive. Yeah, the the uh, people that really play multiplayer, it's a whole other level of uh, amazing. How mm. good they are. Well, and what's interesting is that he's um, he's you know, he's he's playing. Um, with with yeah, legendary difficulty, very hard battles. Um, and it's it's just like it's insane that the um just the amount of um just the whole thing like he, one thing like you know showing all the battles and stuff um and that that's cool or at least all the ones that are interesting he's order resolving where it makes sense um mm -hmm. but the the stuff that's coming up from the Empire it's just like multiple 20 stacks to try and throw them down is <laughs> crazy. Oh really? Yeah. And he had one battle where Sigvald basically held off like multiple units on his own. Um, it was very tense. <laughs> he was in real trouble. <clears throat> Alright, you have one minute. Should be all I need. Um, Overconfidently. 
I, uh, hmm. I'm, I'm a ready. Unsure. Hmm? And I, I mean, I'm kind of ready. I'm starting. Okay. We go. Great cannon! Well, I'm not going to say you castled again. But you kind of castled again. It's true. Detachments move. Yes, sir, quickly. Moving now. Going on here. Okay. Formation march! Sigma guides us! Ready to fire! Yes, sir! Quickly! Sigma call! <coughs> Great wizard! At speed! No lingering! He'll be fine. <laughs> Great cannon! On our way! Take aim! Go! Great cannon! Ready for war! Told you he'd be fine. Now, ready, rah! <laughs> that was their great, uh, great contribution there. Thanks. Rah! Great 
Great swords! Well, so far. Hmm? Going as well so far. To battle. Strike them down. Ready to serve. To battle. Get that quickly. Let's be. Burn everything! Great swords! Quick march! Your artillery grab! We are Sigma's heirs! Ah! For the Emperor! Carnage everywhere. Sigma, a bit. Missiles will fly. Ah! On my command. Wise counsel. It will be done. Great swords! For Heldenhammer! your orders fight for france formation march fire at will hell blast our bully gun go sigma calls fight for france we are sigma's heirs To battle! Prepare for combat! Ooh. I think I've gone and done it. Great cannon! Why are my cannons moving? Cannons fire! Spearmen! We serve the Emperor! To battle! You got an unbreakable lord, haven't you? Um, well, I mean, he's he's pretty brave. Well, I mean, his leadership hasn't gone down at, at, at all. So, I'm confident to say he's unbreakable. <laughs> Immune psychology, even. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing some of the, the stats on this, because I feel like some of my, my picks have done very well. There he goes. Uh. <laughs> it was close for a minute there, but pulled it. Little there, I got my characters in, and my lord, like, absolutely wailed on your lord. My, my lord took a lot of very bad damage there. Uh, I lost track of him. I, I brought him in to try and take care of someone, and he got 
absolutely mauled. Yeah. Um, whoever that is, Ungrim has yeah. some brutal uh, abilities against Cav and stuff. I also put put him into your demigriffs and whatnot as much as I could. I I I think it's safe to say I lost track of them. Um, I mean, you did you did good overall. Like I couldn't I couldn't sort of react to everything. It's the it's the you did the good tactic against a castle. You uh, you sort of hit me from all angles, and I just couldn't keep up with it. That that was part of the plan. Obviously, I went with some good bombarding. I, I'm a little disappointed by the Bright Wizard. I was hoping to get more damage off, but... He had I mean, to get too close, I think. That was part of the problem. Yeah, I, I maybe should have just held him back for longer. Yeah, I think if he had come in towards, like, at the back end... Mm -hmm. um, I don't um, know. It may also be that fire magic isn't as effective, because I think I a lot like the Iron Drakes, I bet, have some resistance uh, to fire and stuff like that. Makes that. sense. Yeah, there may have been a degree of that. Um, um, my spearmen were could have been brutal. The what? Others could have been brutal. Mm. I couldn't move away very fast. Right. Yeah, I hadn't considered that. But your uh, your cannons really did some work. I didn't even. It's it's hard to notice that because they're sort of a long way where you don't see the yeah. impact immediately. Yeah, I mean, based on this, they're MVP. Um, both, both our artilleries did some good work. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, your organ gun, man. I tried to take it out, but I, I was, I, I got there too late. And of course, you you did the thing where you slowed down my knights. I did see that yep. going off. That was annoying. Um, yeah, that's so effective. I mean, it's less effective when you've got like five knight units, but it was still like yeah. nice. The the war wagon hell blaster, the black lions. Mm -hmm. That's super fun. Yeah. That that, that wiped out your gyrocopters. I kept um, trying to move them, but it was too much to be concentrating on. They have an impressive arc of fire that the, the Black Lions do. Uh, it's not bad range. And then, of course, they're rapid. So I was able to just keep them to protect that cannon unit and then yeah. bring them up later in the fight and just start peppering. Um, so I mean, they don't show a lot of kills, but I feel like they did help damage your characters too. Your, your archers were super good too because I found them initially but then as soon as I went out of sight they disappeared again so mm. I tried to go chase them but I couldn't see them to shoot them so, I, I, I noticed uh, that you were moving for them and then so I just kept moving them while it looked yeah. like you were chasing them <laughs> lost track of them and then they were just free to pepper me yeah you actually had funnily enough a nice balanced army there mm. um don't know if you you know I mean, I, I was, like, it was intended to be relatively balanced insofar as I could, like, the spearmen would just chaff. Like, I had no intention of them doing any, like, the fact that they got 29 kills between them, I'm proud. Um, yeah, they were just there as a kind of, like, swarm. They, they were there to create a distraction um, and to at least occupy some of your guys. Uh, yeah. I knew they would break. That was fine. The great swords were then to come in and provide some more, more impactful damage. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the the the, the knights the great... were were yeah, there. So as... Just keep slamming. Yeah, I think the problem with the great swords was I didn't keep control over them enough. I mean, the I think they still helped though, because I you know like my lord would get like buried in them for a little while and then. Mm -hmm. I was trying to seek out like high value targets with him because he just like destroys. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's he's nice. So swarming him with infantry is kind of effective to let the rest of your army do their thing. Yeah. As, um, well, save the army, I guess. Yeah, I already had. I figured it might come up again, so. And I I was I, I went into it confident because I felt like I was bringing something that could take down. Assuming you castled. If you hadn't castled, it might have been different. I don't know. Uh, I really don't have a whole lot there to... Uh, I mean, I could have advanced on you to get my guns in a bit more in range, mm. but you had a lot of dangerous yeah. um, night units as well that I just couldn't really deal with. So I think it was a good a good pick. It's going to be interesting to try and pick something to beat that because it doesn't have an obvious weakness, which is which is, you know... Uh, means it's well made really it's also frankly surprising because it's me i also realized that i still had 72 uh monies that i hadn't uh, <laughs> put assigned. some chevrons somewhere yeah chevrons or uh, i don't know i might even be able to pick up a spell for that i don't know yeah i can it's true yeah 
Um, not that one. Uh, that could be very useful, actually. I might take that. Yeah, it's really cheap, too. Yeah, we'll I'm going to have to have a think about that. Now let me save army setup and just go over. I really didn't. I, I mean, into your army, I really didn't take a super balanced army, and you could. It's really just a lot of guns. Um, mm -hmm. Have like one combat unit. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's. It's you did a good, a good job of taking something that could take on my army, but I'm gonna have to really. I think I've got a few ideas maybe percolating, but we'll see. Well, you got time. <clears throat> Obviously, you can go really out of left field too now since we have more uh, <clears throat> more factions available. Thank you, Steam Sale. <clears throat> well, this was episode whatever it is of Counter Strikes. Apparently, that's what we're calling. It. I guess it's really episode. I mean, it's arguably episode two, isn't it? Uh, yeah. If you yeah, <clears throat> if you kind of say the. I, I can go re rename the first one. Um, because that was the first, yeah, counter. So, episode two of Counter Strikes, uh, and we will see you in the next one. Bye bye. For now.